So yes, I do blame them. They are responsible, and their ministers refuse to accept responsibility for this boondoggle. There's one major fundamental flaw in terms of what it is that the member is trying to portray, and that is through attempting to mislead uh, Canadians, quite frankly. Uh, the member knows full well that uh, inappropriate behavior has not been condoned in any form by this government. And in fact, when it was discovered that there was inappropriate uh, behavior, that the government acted quickly in terms of ensuring that there was a process to, uh, to ensure to Canadians, to the taxpayers, that there would be accountability and there will be a consequence to those that have violated uh, the procedures that are in place uh, to protect the taxpayer. The member uh, intentionally tries to give this I I impression that it is the Liberal Party or the, the government, the politicians, that have actually not protected the interests of the taxpayer when that's just not true. If you want to look at a scandal where you had politicians trying to, to cover up, take a look at the ETS $400 million scandal of the Harper era where the, the Conservatives across the way are absolutely silent on. The Honourable Member Brant Brantford Brant. If the member wishes to look in the mirror, he will see inappropriate behavior, not only by him, but the entire government. This government has done nothing other than try to hide, try to obfuscate, try to distance themselves from this scandal. It was that Liberal Party who voted down, every single member voted down, the Auditor General investigating the Arrive Can scam. That was November the 2nd, 2022. Over the course of numerous committees, it was that Liberal Party who routinely shut down debate, refusing to hear from the Auditor General, refusing to hear from the RCMP Commissioner. So yes, I do blame them. They are responsible, and their ministers refuse to accept responsibility for this boondoggle.